What's going on guys, McKinley362 here, and today I'm back at you with another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle with a friend named Shin that I battle on a friend's Discord server. So please like the video, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you're going to think of the battle. So going into the battle, I know that his Toxic Picks and his potentially Life Orb Hydreigon is going to be a problem. So I'm going to lead off with my Aloma Nine Tails. And he's gonna lead off with this Toxapix. So I know that this Toxapix can't do anything to me unless it has the poison jab, which I know he potentially won't go for. But I do have the freeze drop. But since I'm gonna lead off, he's gonna go ahead and go for the Baneful Bunker. And I kind of knew he was gonna do that because me and Shin battled on multiple occasions before. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Oravel and go ahead and make my team stronger. And I think I was life clay. I think this thing was life clay because this was an old Wi Fi battle. So, as you can see here, I'm gonna encore him. So, I'm gonna lock him into Baneful Bunker. Baneful Bunker works like the tech where the more times you use it in a row with more consecutive uses, um, the lower its chances of working are. So, he really can't do anything here. here. And so now he's gonna decide to switch out. And he's gonna go into his Guts Machamp, which was a good play. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the freeze try. And he's gonna go ahead and activate that flame orb because this is Guts Machamp. So sensing that he's gonna have a bullet punch, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna decide to switch off into my Umbra. As you can see right here. So what I'm hoping Umbra can do is I'm hoping to set up with some curses and start out playing some things and try to get a little mini sweep going, a little early game mini sweep as you can see we're just gonna chew that bullet punch because boosted bullet punch but mind you it wasn't stabbed so I'm gonna go ahead and Umbra is looking mighty useful you know looking mighty bulky he's in the green hill so I'm gonna go ahead and start setting off some curses out I was actually surprised that I outspit the Machamp, but that thing must be hella slow. So, here I am setting up some curses, and he decides to go for the close combat against me. And it's not gonna do a lot, even though it was quote unquote super effective because I am a max HP, max defense variant. So, here I am gonna go ahead and stack him some curses, just getting him some leftovers, and I'm just trying to, this thing, you know, this thing get whittled down with the burn, so it's like I said, Umber, look at my squad here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with Iron Tail. It doesn't really do much, but I do get that defense drop, and he does knock over my leftovers, unfortunately, but that is okay because I have Wish. So, his burn actually leaves him at about 1 or 2 HP, so I'm gonna set up a Wish here because I don't see the point of attacking this thing when it is literally going to die next turn. So, he goes ahead and close combats me this turn. And he gets that defense and special defense drop. And his burn is going to kill him. So, we were able to wall him a champ and just like I said, Umbra, he is looking mighty threatening out here. So now he decides to send out his Dragonite. And Dragonite actually decides to go for extreme speed. This was a misplay on Shin's part because I thought he could have went for the outrage and I think it would have killed. Um, there was no need to go for the E speed because I was already slow with minus two speed. So yeah, he was just trying to out prioritize me there, but Umbra was already slow, so he's gonna go for, go for the earthquake and I know this thing can't touch me, so I'm gonna go for the wish. And I'm actually hoping that he has the Dragon Dance, which thankfully he does, as because that means I can kill this thing with foul play. And I don't think this thing was Marvel skill either, because as you can see, this stab foul play, plus he has plus one attack that I'm about to do to him, it is actually going to Oko this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that wish back. I'm um, a little bit unfortunate that I don't have my leftovers, but you know it's okay. So he goes for a fire punch, and I don't know what he was expecting, I guess he was trying to burn me, which was a reasonable boat play, but unfortunately it is not enough, as we're just gonna kill Dragon Knight, a job Dragon Knight did. So here, Shin, he decided he's had enough, 
he is down by two Pokemon, and he decides to set up some Toxic Spikes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set up another curse again, and I don't know what I was thinking because Umbra cannot beat Toxapex unless it somehow gets Corrosion, but that's only in Hackmon's so showdown. So, he's gonna go ahead and find full bunker here again. And I'm gonna keep setting up curses, being the dumb player that I am. I don't know what I was thinking at this point in the battle. I actually don't know what I was thinking at this point in the battle. So, him being down two mines, actually, my bad, I said burn. He's gonna go ahead and he's gonna scald burn me. And I noticed whenever I use scald, I cannot catch a burn in Pokemon. I cannot remember the last time I scald burned somebody. It has been at least more than three weeks since I've managed to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the Toxapex. And it is burn, so that cancels its leftovers recovery, but it does have recovery. Because I battled this Toxapex before and I just know she and I know that he'll have recover. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch you to my life orb high dragon. And here he goes for the Meaning was recovery. I guess he thought I was gonna attack him. He should have attacked this turn because there was nothing I could do. He should have seen the switch out, but everybody plays differently, you know, different strokes to different folks. So I'm gonna take this chance to try to kill it, but unfortunately, non stab earth power with life orb will not be able to kill. So here he's gonna go for the skull, and thankfully, he doesn't get a burn because it'll be bad enough because I do have the life orb. So, what he should do here is just let this die, but I know Shin, I know he's gonna go for the Baneful Bunker. And there was no reason for me to touch this because I am running a special High Dragon, so sensing that Baneful Bunker, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Tailwind going. That way I can outspeed everything, and that way I can just sweep the late game. So, predicting him to switch out which he doesn't switch out. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Dark Pulse. It's just a thing that I'm starting to do now, like when I almost don't code Pokey, and I'm about to kill it, you never know when the opponent might save it, so go for a neutral play. Predict something else to switch out. So, he's gonna bring in his Mega Beedro nickname Honey. But, thankfully, thanks to the Tailwind, which doubles my speed, we are gonna be able to outspeed it. And luckily, the heat wave will connect, so that is going to be a dead Mega Beedrill because Mega Beedrill has no special defense or defense. It is a glass cannon. One of the definitions of a glass cannon, like Darmanitan, strong but weak at the same time. So, here's he's going to send out his Gary Rados, and he's going to get the Intimidate off on me. Thankfully, I I wasn't running a physical high dragon, I was running a special high dragon, so I'm going to go for my stab, life orb boosted. Dark Pulse, and here we're gonna get the skillful flinch. <laughs> but my tailwind does peter out, and it turns out I still outsped this thing. So, what I'm thinking that I should have did was I probably should have set up another tailwind, but it doesn't matter because I do end up winning the battle as he sends out his own high dragon. And I thought his was scarfed, so I really wanted to 6 0, so I switched out here into my alone with nine tails and I am gonna get poison and we're gonna go ahead and get that snow warning though just for chip damage against this thing because I thought he was scarfing and I thought he was gonna go for a Draco meter but he actually goes for his own tailwind so I could have just tried to kill this thing but like I said this was a misplay on my part so me getting well down by my poison there's nothing I could do here because I just have to take this death. So he gets and manages to connect his heat wave, and that is going to be a dead Alone in Nine Tails. And Alone in Nine Tails did his part, you know, it got the hell up. He did get the Aurorville up every game, but I tried to get it up again. It really didn't need to die if I went aggressive and went for the aggressive play against his High Dragon. So here I'm going to bring in my Focus Sashed Gengar, and he's going to go for his Earth Power which it is going to be able to connect and it would have killed but thankfully since I do have the focus sash it is not going to kill and now this thing is getting whittled down and I'm going to be able to manage to connect my focus miss aka focus blast and that is going to be a dead hydrating so 
this was a nice little game that I just want to upload it so please let me know what you think of the video please like comment subscribe share the video with your friends and I will be back at you with some more Pokemon Sunny Moon Wi-Fi battles